Hi, May. My name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband, Rob, on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful for you. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things we'll be covering are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that would be anything you can see on your site here. It does include the pictures, but also the words and what your pictures are saved as as well. Google typically likes to see about 1,500 words worth of content on the homepage of a website. Um, now with uh, e-commerce sites, it does work a little bit differently since some of the content can be in your product descriptions to count toward that 1,500 words. Um, but that gives you an opportunity to be able to kind of go in and integrate in keywords and key phrases. So um, your site is fantastic. I love the layout of everything. It's very user friendly. Um, my only suggestion would be to kind of go through your content and go through those product descriptions and look for places where you can add in keywords that people are going to be searching for when they're looking for your services. Moving along to the next thing here, which is citations, and I just pulled up a quick search. And the first thing you'll see is this section here. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that section. So a citation is basically your business name, address and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And by directories, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in those details and services. So you would want to go out and see where your competitors are being listed within those directories. And you want to grab those listings for your business. But as soon as you find that and grab those listings, then you want to start building. So you want to double, triple, quadruple the places that your business is listed. So for example, if your top competitor competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to have 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it also helps you to rank high here. Moving along here to backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it as well but not all backlinks are created equal. So for example, let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours, but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful for you. You would wanna get links from other CBD companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That will be a lot more unique, but also more powerful in Google's eyes because it is relevant to your industry. And I just pulled up one of the tools that I use here just so I can give you more of a visual representation of what I'm talking about. And I put your site into it. It's not really showing a lot of data for you all right now other than there are two keywords um, that you all are being found for. But let's see, I did also pull up one of the competitors as well. So it's showing they have 22 referring domains which is giving them 47 backlinks, getting them found for 65 keywords, and that's pushing about six people to their site per month. So let's see if we can take a look at the keywords that they're using here. And we're looking for buyer intent keywords. That would be anything that someone's going to think to actually type into the search bar when they're looking for your services. So let's see what they have here. And as you can see, they have a ton of keywords, so I'm certainly not going to bore you and have us go through all of these. Um, but let's see where they have a good one listed here. So here's a good one, where to buy CBD in Los Angeles. This is a great uh, key phrase because it lists the service or product or industry, and then it also lists the location that this company is trying to target. 
Um, and truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but then just as we talked about with the citations, always building on that and far surpassing whatever your competition is doing. That's going to be the kind of thing that's going to get you on that first page of Google, uh, but it'll also make it really difficult for your competition to keep up with you. So that is all that I have for you today, May. I do hope that this video was helpful. If you'd like to know more about Dove Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please do reach out to us and we would love to talk to you about that. But thank you again for your time and you have a great weekend.